every little hippo can. Horace and his sister Hope loved bathing in the lake. Their granny used to take them there as soon as dawn would break. Play with her for hours in the hot savannah sun, and all the other animals would come and join the fun. But one day, Granny Hippo said, I'm getting old and slow. I don't think I can walk there now. It's just too far to go. Don't worry, Granny, Hope replied. I know what we can do. If we can't take you to the lake, we'll bring the lake to you. So Hope and Horrence filled the pails with water every day and trudged back to the Granny's place a long, long way away. But Horrence was the smaller one and still not very strong. So when he finally got there, most of what he'd fetched was gone. He wanted to be useful and bring lots of water back, but it slopped and sploshed and spilled all the way along the track. Oh, thank you, Hope, said Granny. What a wonderful child you are. Horrence, look how strong she is. Your sister's such a star. I know, said Horrence bravely, as a tear rolled down his cheek. I tried to help as well, but I can't do it. I'm too weak. Then with his granny holding his hand, as the sun began to set, she said, it's not that you can't do it. You just can't do it yet. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to enjoy more like this. Do you think those birds above us soaring through the sky didn't take some time to stretch their wings and learn to fly? Nothing that's worth doing comes too easy or too fast, which makes it so much sweeter when you manage it at last. So Horrence filled his bucket every day as Hope had planned, but lots of water still slopped out and soaked the dusty land. Then just as Horrence thought he couldn't do it anymore, his granny said, now come with me, and Horrence asked, what for? She took his hand and said to him, My precious little one, look at all these beauties, Horrence. Look at what you've done. The water that you spilled along the way has been just like rain. Nothing ever grew along this path until you came. And sure enough, as Horrence stopped and looked at what was there, he saw butterflies and ladybirds and flowers everywhere. You've been too busy worrying, his granny said, to see all the lovely things that you've already brought to me. Then as the fireflies lit the night, they stood beneath the moon, and Granny said, you'll fill my pool with water very soon. But in the meantime, Horrence, my big strong darling boy, you've done something just as special. You filled my heart with joy. Thank you for letting me read to you today. If you enjoyed listening to me, and want to read along next time, then you can find the link to this book in the description below. If you'd like to hear me again, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button under this video and visit my channel for more books like this.